What's up guys, James Mitchell, and I wanna be teaching you guys how I personally color grade in Premiere Pro CC 2018, let's go. All right guys, so I am teaching you today how I personally color correct, and it may not be the correct way to some people, it may not be the way they like to do it, but in my opinion, it is my efficient way, and it's how I like to color correct. So let's get into it. So first things first is you have shot your video and say you might have had exposure a little bit too much, you might have used the wrong ISO, stuff like that, and you need to correct that. So we're gonna come in and search for Lumetri Color, and we're going to apply that to our clip. Then we're gonna come up to this panel up here, and we're gonna hit Color. And the reason we do this is it lays it out in a different panel aspect, and it gives you your color corrections over here, your video and then something which we are going to use which is essential is Lumetri scopes over here and so if it isn't already selected you're going to right click in this window and just check parade RGB and these might be checked as you can see like that and maybe I'll hold some other tutorials on exactly how to use these but for right now we are going to use parade RGB so in a very simple and basic aspect this from 0 to 100 this are the these are the darkest pixels in your clip and these are the lightest pixels in your clip and then from left to right imagine this is a cut right here and a cut right here from left to right this is left of your clip to the right of your clip so you have the very left side of your clip to the very right side of your clip darkest pixels to lightest pixels so you can tell up here some of my lightest pixels are because of this flame and you could tell down here some of my darkest pixels are because of the dark area of this grass over here and this image right here. So, and you have your red, green, and blue color channels. So the basic idea of color correction is you want to get these looking the same. And you don't want stuff like this where it's too blown out being exactly at 100 and you don't want stuff that's so dark that you crush your black so much that they're at zero. So. The easiest way to go about that is to come down and we are going to go to curves here and we are going to go to the red and create three dots here. Go to the green, three dots. Go to the blue, three dots. So if you don't know how to use this curve, this is the darkest pixels and this is the lightest pixels here. And so based on how you move it, you're gonna either move the, the middle pixels the darkest pixels or the lightest pixels and you move them lighter you can move them darker easy as that and you got your blue green and red channels so for instance our red we have a lot of highlights that are blown out so we might want to maybe bring the red down a little bit and as you can see now we have brought down those from being so overexposed so we also have that on some green so we can come over here maybe move the green down a little bit until it about matches the red there, same height. Now you're gonna have some dips that may not be exactly the same, but you notice that these two peaks are roughly the same here, which is good. So we can tell that green also has a little bit darker side of pixels here. So what we can do is we can come down and maybe lighten that up here. You might even want to add maybe a few other points if you get the need to, to lighten that up. But you can see that we're trying to match all three of these. So let's go to blue and you can tell blue is a little darker as well. We can bump that up maybe a little bit and maybe bump up the mids just a tad. So we're trying to get the same aspect. Now you see that blue isn't light enough. So what you can do, and it looks like more of the mids here we can maybe bump up blue just a tad and now let's bring that down so that matches with that maybe we can bump up the blues this aspect you notice that blue is lacking in the mids here for light so maybe we can bump that up and maybe come and bump up the mids just a tad here. And that's a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, 
So you're going to have to kind of play around with it. And obviously some aspects are going to be a little different, but you see how we brought down all the colors that were overexposed and we're trying to not crush some of the colors that have been underexposed here. So if I bring that up like that, it's going to bring it up. And that's how I always start off with curves. Try to match Lumetri color scopes here. Try to match these so that nothing is overexposed and nothing is crushed. Then what we're going to do is go to basic correction and we got to fix the exposure which personally I like the exposure here. I think I shot this fairly well. I like the white balance. You can then input some of your contrast. You can maybe bump up the highlights here and as you can see it's going to affect this curve here so you got to be careful what you're going to bump because if I bump let's say the blacks what's going to happen is it's then going to bump these way up and it's going to give it this almost like faded look which if that's what you're going for that's great and all the three of these are still similar so I'm not going to do that but if you go down and crush it you'll notice that all of these are going to go to zero and it's going to look pretty bad but go back to zero there and you can maybe bump your whites a little bit, drop your shadows a little bit, maybe drop your blacks just a tad. And yeah, that is my way to do basic color correction here. And I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I will be releasing one soon that shows how to then take this and use off the basic color correction how to create a LUT, such as the teal and orange look, which a lot of you guys I know like and a lot of you guys see, and is what I used in my Yellowstone Untold Stories video, which if you haven't seen, I will put a link at the end of the video. So if you guys enjoyed that tutorial, please hit the like, please subscribe, let me know what you guys would like to see. Leave comments on maybe some color grades you'd like to see. Maybe that blue, teal, orange look. I know a lot of you guys like that, or maybe like a Western, stuff like that. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.